Sorry, hey, can you tell me, like, I have some exceptions on homework, and can you tell me which part I'm wrong about you? Yeah, so, um, what does this code actually do? So, for this code, this is an array, and this is another array list. Mm -hmm. I, I'm copying all the elements in the array into the new array list. Okay. And I went through all the logic, it, it seems all right to me. Okay, yeah, so we can do some code tracing for this and just check where the logic is and why it's not passing the auto grader. So for the for loop, we do have the initial condition of zero and yeah. zero is less than the length of the array list and, I, uh, and we're incrementing it by one. Well, yeah. yeah, so I can go through the code for you, the code stack for you and we can just work through it together through the code stack. Okay, absolutely. So initially when we start our array, what is the value of i? It should be zero, right? Yeah, so i is equal to zero. And whenever we do this, we're gonna add uh, the first element of array list uh, a into the array list j, right? Yeah. So right. what do you think array list j should be at that moment? What do you think the value of j should so be? So the j should have the first index, the, the one in it. Yeah, so it should have just the one, right? Yeah. And do you think array a will be changed or will it be the same? It should be the same. Right? Yeah, so a will stay the same. Yeah. And then at that time, we'll just increment i by one. And let's keep in mind that the length of a is one, two, two three, three, and four. Yeah, yeah. and then is four. So we'll say length is four. So when i equals one, what would happen to j? Should be one and two. Yeah. And how about when i is equal to two? So it should be one, two, three. Yeah. And how about when i is equal to three? So j should have the, all the elements from a. Yeah, that's correct. But will this loop uh, terminate at that time since i is equal to 3 and the length is equal to 4. Oh, I see. I put yeah. an extra equal sign here. It yeah. Should... So oh, okay. it should be less than instead of less than or equal to because then we would go to an extra step where i does equal to, to 4. 4. So we have an index out of bound exception. Oh. Yeah, so we're accessing the fourth element, but there is no fourth element. Oh. That would just throw an exception. Does that clear up things for you? Yeah, that makes sense. I can I know how to do the homework right now. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Make sure you use print statements and other testing tools to help you trace through the code. Okay, that's helpful. I can do it next time for the if statement myself. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye.